Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? It's Koopa Kung Fu. Welcome back to more of Temple Run 2. In the last episode, we had an amazing run where I beat my high score. Clearly, it's not as good as people on the le leaderboards who had 50 million. Whatever, I don't care about those guys. I'm never going to beat that. I swear half of them are cheating anyways, and even if they're not, I don't have that much free time on my hands. I'm very impressed by my 1 million points, and I will be continuously impressed. But I know a lot of you guys can beat that score. If you do, leave a comment below. I would really... I'm really interested in knowing your guys' score, so... You know, that'd be cool. Let me know if you guys got 4 million, 2 million, 6 million, 18 million, whatever you guys get. I'm impressed. But 1 million is a good score for me. I'm happy with that. In this episode, we're going to work on trying to get enough coins to get the uh, next version of the power-up. And we'll be ending off this Let's Play pretty soon. I really just wanted to show off this uh, this new game that just came out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of the gameplay, just let me know and I'd be happy to oblige you guys. But it's pretty straightforward. It's a lot of fun on your own. I'm playing this, like I said before, on the iPad. Uh, I'm not sure how it plays on the iPhone. I'm sure it plays well. I just tend to not play games on my iPhone because, you know, the screen's so small for me. And normally, normally when I'm out, I'm doing things with friends or doing schoolwork. Oh, I just missed that. That was close. And I almost chopped my head off there on that stone block there. But you want to get those gems if you can. Like I said, it's kind of hard to judge distance, so I jumped way too late there. But... Uh, yeah, I think it's hard for me to play games on my... Oh, that was close. Hard to play games on the iPhone. I don't know how he's running where there's no path, but whatever. He's a magician, I guess. So I tend to play all my games on the iPad because the screen's bigger. It's a little more fun. Uh, I'm actually playing this on iPad 2, which is obviously an old... That was really close. I think I kind of glitched there, too, a little bit. Um, an older iPad, but it still works well. It's maybe a little jaggy. could maybe run smoother on a newer iPad, but you know, I don't have the money to afford new iPads, so you get you play with what you got, you know? And it's, it's like I said, it's working well. Got duck underneath those. I, I When I first started, I had a lot of trouble with those kind of things. Oh, grab the uh, shield for that. The shield's useful, but like I said, if you, oh, gotta make that. If you fall off the course, it doesn't save you. So, while useful, it's not the greatest thing. They don't have any of those resurrection wings like they had in Temple Run. The only thing you get are those gems, which I guess works better, but you seem to spend them more, you know what I mean? So it's hard to collect them and keep them because you get you see like maybe one... Oh, I completely mistook that. You see like maybe one gem every run, maybe at best. Normally it's like one every five or six runs. So, oh, congratulations on reaching level six. We get 5,000 coins for our efforts. Woohoo, that'll help. And you saved me nine times. Okay, that's we can get that pretty easily. Head start. None of these are too hard, except for that allergic to gold. But I'm not trying to really grow levels too much. I've got the uh, the magnet was the only power up I really wanted. So now we have enough money to go ahead and buy our coin magnet duration to 100%. I want that. So that should help out a lot. But as you can see now, jumping to 25,000 points, I really don't have that kind of money. I do have 5,000. Uh, I don't really need to spend on much of anything. I guess the coin value triple coins at 2,000 would help because you'd collect them quicker. Right now, mine's at 2,500. So, or add the save me, reduce save me by one gem. So let's go ahead and give this one a try. It sounds useful. Uh, there we go. Okay. So hopefully, I don't know how it's gonna work. Actually, this is my first time trying it too. But if we use a save me, do you think it uh goes down from the first one from one to zero? Do you get a free save me every time now? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Cause. Like you said, or like we've seen, it normally takes one save me before, you know, one gem of a save me. Oh, I thought I could cut out over in time, but I messed up there a little bit. Not a problem. It's going a little slow here at the start, obviously. That's why you normally use the boost, but we don't have enough money. The boost costs 2500 unless you get some of those ability power-ups, and then it gets cheaper. But a lot of times, guys, I think you got to think of it smartly. You know, like, does really spending the 5,000 coins on that boost on saving 250 coins really help you out a lot. Unless you buy that boost all the time, spending 5,000 coins to save 250 really is not worth it. It's gonna take you a long time to make up that money. And then the next, uh, you know, step up is 10,000 coins for probably another, you know, 250 or 500 or whatever. Really not a whole lot, you know? So I don't know if it's completely worth it. I would spend your money and your hard earned coins from running on other things that are more useful, like getting the coin power ups, uh, you know, first off, you can double the coins. The re the red ones are double are worth double the amount. You can get those a lot earlier at a thousand meters, so that's definitely useful. Get that one as quick as you can. And then I'm trying to get the the blue ones to come earlier, as you guys can see currently. Get them down to two thousand points. I think that'd be or two thousand meters. I think that'd be a lot more useful. 
All right, running around here. That was close. Almost didn't make that. You know, I kind of want to play some. Oh, that was really close. Almost messed it up. Oh, and chopped my head off there. That's that's unfortunate. Oh, saved me still one gem. What a bummer. So it's still one. I imagine the next one is now one instead of two. I mean, yeah, that's useful, but damn, I was kind of hoping we'd get the first save me for free. Oh, well, guys, learn something new every time. Now, I won't, I won't bore you with more more of me running and more of me chopping my head off. I'll just keep working on saving my coins to get more of these things. That'll probably be the end of this, end of this Let's Play. If you guys ever want to see more of this, just let me know. Leave comments below. I'd really appreciate it. I can try maybe coming back sometime when I have more coins and pick up the last two characters. I There might be some more of them, too. I don't know. I haven't unlocked them all. But it's a lot of money. And you need to spend a lot of time to do it. I don't want to do that. So I'll let you guys know. And that should be everything. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.